today is Jip Day. We've been up onto the busy road, the busier road where we live and done a bit of traffic training. I wasn't going to video that because it's a bit, uh, if anything goes, if I don't get distracted, then it's too dangerous. And then we've come up into the fields and it's these critters. And he was doing really well when he was younger, but now his instincts are kicking in and he'd like to go around and make them move about a bit, I think. So I'm just going to spend, I've set my clock on my phone for 10 minutes and we're going to spend 10 minutes just not just on the footpath. This is a footpath. I'm just chilling, seeing what he does. So he's watching them, but he's not absolutely intent on them, focused. He wants to get to them, and he's going to pretend. He's going to pretend that he can. He's heading for something else just to get to the sheep. So what I'm going to do is go chip this way. There you good boy. He checked in with me there. He checked in, so you're going to get a little treat. Good boy. Good boy. And we're back to where we started on the footpath. And the sheep's there. Got a loose, not a loose rein, a loose, a loose lead. There's loads of sheep. They're all over the place in here. But these have separated themselves off for some reason. I've been up there, I walked right past them and uh, and these followed me through the gate, so there we go, that's better. I don't want to get any closer because it means straying from the path. I ain't going to stray from the path. But we're just going to chill out in the field, ignoring. I might move. I'll just go up the path and see what it does and we'll settle off, settle up there a bit. This way. So I didn't say heel because I'm just on a loose, a long loose uh, lead. So wait there, wait there. I'm not in the cow pack, you'd have to wait there. Good boy. I don't want him to sit. I'm not going to ask him to sit or lie down or anything. I'm just going to ask him just to chill out, do what he wants. Just having a picnic. The sheep are settling as well. So initially he was lunging. Even from here, he was lunging at them. He's got a bit quieter. Now he's looking for the others up the hillside. The chair. Hand down, sharp, hand down. Back on them. So I'm, I'm not worried about what's going to happen, but I'm thinking what could happen. So if he lunges, I'm going to go a little bit with him and then go back quickly the other way and get him to me so I'm not gonna what I've been doing when he's I'm struggling if a car goes past and he starts lunging and I realize my hands come up I've got to keep my hand down yes good boy good boy further up. This way. This way. This way. Wait. Good boy. We're a bit closer to them now. So he's been stress yawning. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. be 
be able to walk up to them, but I can't because they're not mine. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. This way. This way. Good boy. Checking in. Checking in. He gets a treat for checking in. Good boy. Good little man. Oh, favourite. Favourite food. Bit of cow pat. favourite thing rolling in cow pat. Nice. Do you have to? Do you have to? <laughs> Come on this way. Good boy. He came straight away then. Right, we'll see if we can walk past. Back past them. Chip, chip. This way. This way. Where's he gone? There he is. Good boy checking in. Good boy checking in. Oh, that's really good. He's not even looking at them. He's not. He says, what sheep? I see no sheeps. Right, I'm just going to keep going now. It took six minutes, nearly seven minutes. That's okay. He's not interested. Voila! I moved the fence at lunchtime. I started at the other end and I'm now here. My little trusty helpers followed me up just to make sure that I moved it enough. Okay. So I've decided to move the fence every lunchtime and then at night, and I literally move it the length of my foot, my boot, uh, each time, which is, let's see if I can show you, which is that. Hello, you all right? See. I don't know if you see. Anyway, it's the length of my boot and it's all the way up this straight bit. And that's because it's really lush. Can you see how how much clover there is in there? So it's lush. Uh, so I don't want these two little ones getting uh, laminitis or anything crazy like that. So I'm exercising them. They, they were, none of the horses are going to have like a formal exercise uh, today because um, I've concentrated on Jip. So I've done quite a bit of training with him this morning. Not that I don't do training every day. Every time we go out, we're training, but it's like a formal session because he's lunging at cars. And uh, now I've realized he's, <laughs> he's a bit keen on sheep. So I have to just temper that, his enthusiasm. Yep, so it's another glorious day. It's a bit of a cast. We're supposed to be getting some rain in the next couple of days, which will bring the grass through even more. So this bit, I'll show you. You can see where they've eaten. So I've moved the fence up. It was there was a track around the bottom of here and around up that other side. So you, this is how much they've had in the last month and a half. Just moving the fence just a little bit every day. Uh, but you see how it's greening up. So that means more grass coming through. So just got to be really careful. Just watch their weight. Weigh them every week, ten days, with the weight tape. Keep an eye on it. Right, so I'm going to finish the video there because I have to go this afternoon for a pair, well, a couple of new pairs of glasses being officially old and decrepit. I have to get them renewed and then go to the father-in-law's for tea and then on to choir to do the Christmas practice. So turn the fence back on. I'll be back here. I'll be back here later. But that's all for the video today. See you later. Oh, thanks for watching. See you later.